From Lagos, let's take you to Abia State as the Anglican Diocese of Arochuku, Ohafia, under the leadership of Right Reverend Dr. Johnson Onoha, has found at the increasing rate of insecurity and rape in the country. This is as contained in the Bishop's Charge 41st session of the Sixth Synod of the Diocese of Arochuku, Ohafia, Anglican Communion, held at St. John's Anglican Church, Ukwaku Ututu. Arochuku Abia State. Reading the charge, the bishop pointed out how worrisome the issue of insecurity in the country has left Nigerians in the fear and therefore called on the government to intervene and provide a safe environment for the citizens. The deteriorating situation of security in Nigeria is so worrisome. The rate of killing and kidnapping is alarming. Many communities are being raided with their houses and farms burnt down while many innocent men, women and children are being killed and taken into captivity. Many Nigerians are dying in agony. Women raped, even children are being raped and killed. Yet, the so-called security authorities just sit and watch as these blood testimony unleash mayhem on their victims without any form of confrontation. The recent insurgence of northern youths in the name of our into the south eastern states and other bad policies and decisions of the government are major concerns. We cannot continue to hide from the realities of the implications. With this so much unrest in our nation, our career, families and every other thing are at stake. We condemn these acts of violence and terrorism and call upon the government to as a matter of urgency intervene and do something to stop these killings and provide a safe environment for citizens of Nigeria to go about their daily businesses in providing for themselves and their families without fear of being molested harassed or killed. While speaking on the state of the nation, he stressed the need for Christians to rise up and pray for the nation, especially regarding the challenges of corruption and insecurities faced in the country, which he said is not beyond God. Many Nigerians live their lives by making the best out of their situation. God has blessed this nation with so much but we have had challenges with leadership in Nigeria. The current situations in the country shows we need to pray as we are faced with the problem of corruption and insecurity to the point that some of us doubt if this country can still remain one. My heart is heavy for this nation. I believe we are at a major crossroad in our national history. What we do from here will make all the difference in our lives and in the lives of the children unborn. The truth is that what is happening in our country is beyond us as mere men. However, this is not beyond God. God is the master over all situations and circumstances. Therefore, we must all rise up to pray.